Hello, hello. Well, I've been living in Los Angeles for a year now, the anorexic capital of the world. <laughs> so I had to lose some weight. So I lost 50 pounds before I came out here. Thank you. I know what you guys are thinking. The weight on my driver's license, finally true. <laughs> yep. I was getting my driver's license renewed, and the 300 pounder behind the counter was like, um, <laughs> 115 pounds? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to update this? <laughs> she was a bitch. <laughs> Women are judgmental, right? They're judgmental differently in Northern California than they are in Southern California. I go home to visit my family and they're like, oh my God, Brooke, you're way too skinny. You're worrying us. Are you taking drugs? Um, are you eating? And then I come back to Los Angeles and I get a big reality check. And the girls out here are like, <laughs> you lost 50 pounds. <laughs> oh, you're serious. That's OK, honey, just 20 more pounds to go. <laughs> So I'm um, thinking about picking up a cocaine habit. <laughs> a cocaine anorexic diet, make it go real fast. I don't think there's anything wrong with anorexia. It saves money on groceries. <laughs> but I would prefer myself to be bulimic, but I can't. I have no gag reflex. <laughs> the guys usually really like that. <laughs> and girls don't, apparently. <laughs> My mom is one of the most worried about me. She is so concerned that I am anorexic or bulimic. She follows me to the bathroom. She makes me eat. She's like, did you puke it up? She TiVo's every anorexia special that's ever been on television. Dateline, Oprah, all 12 seasons of Simple Life. 